Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about cleaning and lubrication on the Funmat HT. And this is really across the line of their printers from Intamsis, so it's pretty easy to do and it's something you should do every single month or as often as you can. If you happen to notice ribbing, inaccuracies, or strange things on the surface of your prints but can't seem to track them down, it may be that you need to clean and lubricate the axis of the machine. It may also be a worn out nozzle or poor quality filament, but today we're gonna to talk about how to clean and lubricate the machine. If it's been more than a month since you've done this, you should notice a substantial increase in surface quality. If the extruder head isn't moving around smoothly by hand, you'll definitely wanna do this today. Okay, so here we've got the starting kit. Basically, we've got some microfiber towels, some nitrile gloves, 99.9% .9 alcohol, some high temperature grease, and a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the top of the gantry, and you can go ahead and just move the extruder out of the way. This will give you better access to the four bolt on each side of the shroud. You'll stick your hex wrench through here, and then you'll just give it about a half turn to a full turn. Don't take the bolt out. Just leave the bolt in there, but loosen it. You can do this for all four slots. on each shroud. And once they're all loose, this shroud will actually pop right off. See how it just slides up there? And you can take the whole shroud out of the chamber. So remember, only loosen these about a half turn and you come over to the next one just get it in there loosen right. so this is the uncovered area now that we took the shroud off and you'll see there's one two three and four bolts they're still in there now the shroud just slides right over those so you won't actually have to unscrew these all the way and it's actually better to leave them in so you can slide it back on when you're ready for that. And you'll do that for all four sides. Now that we have this revealed, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 99% alcohol and we're going to spray it down real good. And then you can move it around a little bit to get it all inside the bearing. Yeah, it's definitely alcohol. And then we're gonna do an initial wipe down with a micro microfiber cloth, just like so. Gonna move this out of the way, wipe off the rest. And we'll do the side over here. Give it a nice wipe down. Okay, so once you've done the first wipe, we wanna do a second spray down just to really get all the bearings cleaned out. Now you're gonna do this for the, the front, the back, the left, the right, and the two center gantries. So make sure that you do this on each side at each direction. Just gonna get it nice and clean in there. Move this over again. And now, should be pretty cleaned out. And we wanna give it a little high temp grease. So I'm gonna put on my gloves while inside the machine. And we're gonna take this high temperature grease. Now, uh, this is high temperature grease you can get from Intamsis. It's some sort of DuPont blend. A lot of the times we'll just use uh, white lithium grease, uh, preferably without the Teflon. They should send you some, and we're gonna take that. Now you can use a brush. You can see we've used a brush in here before. I like to just use my fingers, go like this, and then just gradually coat the surface. It's easy to use too much, and that's where you'll, you'll see the globs starting to build up, but if you're gonna do this once a month, might as well get enough on there. I'm gonna use that and continue over on this side. Just 
being careful to not get it all over the place and uh, not too much on the belts there. But you'll notice these rods actually spin, so we're gonna have to move the whole gantry to really get it coated. So I'm just gonna move that forward a little bit. And now that gives me access to the other side. I'm just gonna spread it out on there. Move this side again. Take this and continue spreading it out. Make a little extra. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna move the axes all the way back and forth. If you move at a diagonal, then it's rotating as well as moving left and right. So that can help get it nice and evenly coat it. Now I'm gonna come back to this side with the extruder all the way to one side. I'm gonna do the opposite ends that I didn't get on the last pass. I'm gonna move that forward a little bit. Just to put a little bit, and this will get pushed over. And then same over here. Oop, wrong, wrong thing. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one over here. Uh, we should leave it, leave in the blooper. All right, now we're just gonna keep going back and forth a few more times. Move it in squares, nice and evenly coated, and then of course in a diagonal. Like say, if your machine's been putting out weird surface finishes or it's just been like it's had a rib pattern or anything on it this is going to be your fix for a lot of those issues just needs to be cleaned it's that simple okay so now that we got the edges done we're going to do the center one so a good way to do these is also to use a microfiber towel spray down with alcohol and then do that you can also spray with alcohol using the towel as a backer that'll help you get extra coverage, Let's move the whole thing over. I'll wipe this down, use more alcohol, get this thing nice and clean. And we're actually gonna spray inside the center block as much as I can, using alcohol so that we don't ruin the electronics. I'm gonna get in there. We're gonna go for another wipe down. Nice and clean. I'm at it. While I let the X dry, I'll just do the Y. And it's amazing like how this simple of a process will give you totally different print results. We, we've, in the past, you know, we would try to track down issues with the, um, issues with the G code or the extruder or whatever, all to find out we just needed to clean the machine. So it's definitely something to keep in your monthly tasks. All right, there we go. All right, so now that I got both of these cleaned, I'm gonna whip out the high temperature grease again. Just take a little bit of this, just coat gantry there. I'm going to use the finger to spread it around. Now I'm going to get the other side. Not too thick because it'll just blob up at a certain point. Right, move that back and forth a couple times. Now these ones don't spin so it's a little more important to get it evenly coated around it. Now I'm going to do the other one. Nice and coated. Do not need a lot. Just need enough to get the surface coated. And then we're gonna bring it over. Do the other side. Nicely coating it. Right. And then push it back. Go back and forth a couple times. Don't let diagonal action. Check that everything's moving nicely. All right. 
Now you'll see on the edges here, we have these little gloves. That's perfectly okay. You can just leave that um, and it'll be totally fine. And then at the actual bearing, you'll notice the same thing happening. Uh, and that's totally fine. Just let it be. If you want, you can wipe it off or, or try to get it out of there, but it'll be fine just sitting there. So make sure you do this on all four sides on both of these gantries uh, and just do this about once a month and you should be totally fine. The machine should keep running smoothly for years to come. So this is really something that applies to all 3D printers and depending on your environment, if you're in a dusty area, you might need to do this once a week. Uh, you might need to do it every day. If you're in a clean room, you might not have to do this for six months. It really depends on where you're at uh, and what the environment is like around you. But a good rule of thumb is to do this, just schedule it out and do it once a month uh, because then you won't be printing your prints and printing your parts and then find out, wait, why is it looking, why is it looking junky or whatever? Is it the code? Is it the nozzle? Is it this? Oh, you haven't cleaned your machine. So just take it, it takes about 10, 15 minutes and it's well worth it just to keep your machine running smoothly. Uh, if you've got any questions, obviously we're here to help. So give us a call here in Southern California at 833-774-6863 or shoot us an email at contact at visionminer.com. We love hearing from you guys. We hope you're having a good time with all these high temperature printers. Uh, and thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. and We'll see you on the next video.